What's up guys, got on the table today a new offering, well from 2018 anyway, uh, by Magpul for Ruger American line of rifles in their short action. Uh, got this one from Optics Planet, so I want to tell Optics Planet thanks for sending this one our way to show you guys. I have a link in the description box down below if you want to check this one out. Also if you're looking to purchase it, I got a discount code down there for you below as well. Uh, but we're going to go, all, go through all the features about this stock, why I chose this stock, and why it is a obviously huge improvement over the factory uh, Ruger American Predator or American line of stocks. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the reason, the main reason that I wanted to go with this stock, again, outside of just the cool factor. Uh, the, the main reason right now was because of this cheap, crappy, and for some reason expensive Ruger Rotary Magazine. I guarantee it probably didn't take Ruger but a couple bucks to manufacture this and they're charging somewhere around $30 close to to purchase another one of these. On top of the fact that it feels extremely cheap, <clears throat> it reminds me of your uh, remote control on your TV. Flip it over, take the battery compartment out, put new batteries in, and that's what you got. That's exactly what this reminds me of. So I wanted to get rid or find a way to get a better magazine in there or you know, custom modified or whatever. Once I found out that Magpul was introducing this stock with their bottom bottom metal, it's plastic, with their bottom metal to have detachable AICS magazines. That was a big selling point in my opinion because now I can run these uh, PMAG AC magazines. This is a five round single stack for 308 and they also sell these in 10 rounders as well. So if you wanted to up your magazine capacity, all you gotta do is buy one of these magazines if you have this stock. That's not an option or it wasn't an option when I first bought this rifle. Now again, this is the Ruger American Ranch and all I did was throw on the Predator stock on it for demonstrational purposes today. If you're familiar with the Ruger American Predator or Ruger American Ranch, they now have those with AR style of detachable magazines. That wasn't an option when I bought this rifle, so this was a big bonus for me. However, if you do have those AR style uh, magazine rifles, will not work with this stock currently unless Magpul updates their design. This is strictly made to run AICS pattern magazines. So that was a big selling point was detachable magazines were actually a lot more quality than this crap that Ruger puts out for these rifles. Hey, it works, don't get me wrong, but it feels cheap, very cheap, as well as this stock itself. And that was another reason why I wanted to go with this Magpul uh, Hunter American stock. If you look at your Ruger American, um, don't matter what model it is, the most of them that I've seen have the same issue. These stocks that they put on here are extremely budget minded and that's how they knock down some of the price point however they say you get a free floated barrel and you do for the most point but the barrel is touching the stock in most cases because the stock is somewhat cheap now to remedy that yes you can go in there and shave some material off however if you want a lot more rigid and uh, free floated actual free floated barrel this stock does you well First of all, you can take a look up here and you can see that this barrel is truly free floated by almost you know, a half of inch or a quarter inch in there. There is no doubt that that barrel is free floating. And it is actually bedded into an aluminum block inside of here on top of steel lugs, which puts this into a very structurally sound uh, chassis, basically a stock that is gonna improve your accuracy out there uh, for longer distance shooting. And I will do some demonstrating actually with uh, some accuracy in a later video, but today we're just gonna talk about uh, all of the features and why I went with this again. I'm dealing with crappy weather outside, so sorry guys. All right, so before I jump around too much, I wanna, show, I wanna give you a good look at that aluminum bedding block in there and those steel recoil lugs and talk about why they're such a big, um, a big improvement over the factory, of course. Now, the Ruger Predator American line, they do have uh, bedding blocks inside of their stock. But now you're taking steel bedding blocks and laying them on top of an aluminum uh, block inside of the chassis as well and having it all locked down with the screws, uh, with the recoil lug screws and the aluminum block screws to create a very solid setup for your rifle, which of course, again, will improve your accuracy, uh, not allowing that stock to move around on the receiver at all. Um, it is something like this. This rifle is still accurate, don't get me wrong. But when you put it in something like this, you're going to see a big difference in your accuracy out there at distance. I will be showing some accuracy um, video later on. Again, I'm dealing with crappy weather right now, so look for that later. If you're looking for adjustability in your stock, again, this is a good reason to go with this Magpul one. The Ruger American stock does not come with a cheek rise whatsoever. It's basically more for shooting with iron sights, which this rifle doesn't have, so you're working with a chin weld 
on top of this uh, with this scope. On the Magpul Hunter American stock, you do get a medium cheek rise from the factory, so that's kind of nice. If you want it to go higher, they sell separately a um, high, high rise, cheek rise anyway. You can put that right on there by loosening one of these screws, removing these, slapping it in there, and there you go, you're good to go. You also get, with a adjustable cheek rise, you get adjustable length of pull for anywhere from 13 inches, if you want to collapse it all the way down, to a maximum eight, uh, 15 inches. So that's kind of nice if you're you know, trying to get that rifle to custom fit shooting for accuracy. You want to be as comfortable as possible uh, when you're shooting out there. So that was a big bonus point. Again, this is a nice recoil pad on the back here. Um, it is not as, I want to say not as squishy as the Ruger American re recoil pad. If you're familiar with those, they feel like kind of like a gummy bear. Um, this one seems a little more solid, but still provides a good amount of recoil absorption. It is still a nice soft rubber recoil pad. Uh, it just seems to be nicely, I guess a little nicer made than uh, Ruger's, uh, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with Ruger's and it doesn't seem to be having a problem with shooting with 308 with that and uh, no problem at all with the Magpul one. Again on the back of the Magpul one though you do get a nice grip texture to kind of lock that, that rifle into your shoulder. Uh, moving on down to the line, let's just look at the ergonomics of this rifle stock in general by Magpul. Uh, this is a nice sweep angle on this uh, the pistol grip here along with very nice checkering. The Ruger American stock, again there's really not much to talk about. it. It is a comfortable stock in my opinion. But when you hold on to something like this uh, Hunter stock, even on my 1022, it is a vast improvement uh, over the factory stocks that they come with. So looking at this grip angle, again, you see you got a couple little grip areas right here and some nice stippling on the side. I'm stippling. But uh, it's a very nice grip angle and very natural feeling when you're on the, when you're on prone, when you're annealing, when you're standing up. It's just a good feeling stock. Um, if you get a chance to get your hands on one, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Take a look at the fore end here, you do get some M-Lock for, right now I have this UTG, uh, it's a newer UTG bipod that basically just has an M-Lock and you just bolt it right to the M-Lock right there and skip all of the extra metal components that usually come with a standard bipod. I went with this because I want to save some weight because this rifle stock does put on a little more weight. Um, and that has done the trick right there, you can see it mounts right up to the M-Lock, you get three slots right there. And uh, you also get two slots on the bottom of the uh, stock as well. If you also notice down there, there are some uh, markings or it looks like uh, some pre-drilled uh, possibly for sling studs. And if you're wanting to run, you know, a bipod that runs off a sling stud, there you go. You can actually put a sling stud screwed in right to those those uh, markings right there. If you also want it to run a uh, sling, uh, two-point sling, basically like I have set up on this Ruger 1022 here with the Hunter stock on it. So again, you get a lot of features for this, uh, for your money. Um, guys have pointed out how expensive this stock is uh, at the MSRP of $299, but if you look at everything that you get and the improvements that you get, especially with the magazine, detachable magazine, you get their bottom plastic as well uh, to run those detachable magazines, you're actually get, getting your money's worth out of this stock. Cheek rise, adjustable length of pull, ergonomics, very nice. Accessory ready, um, free floated barrel, aluminum chassis, metal, uh, steel metal bedding blocks, again, and the detachable uh, magazines there to running AICS magazines. It's just kind of a no brainer if you're looking to improve your accuracy in your rifle or if you're looking for those ergonomics or all those features all at once. This is the best way to go, in my opinion. So, that is the main reason why I went with this stock because there, is, there are so many features to it. Um, and then just even holding the stock alone just feels great. And of course, it doesn't come with these patches and stuff like that. It's just crap I threw on there for morale. Um, so anyway, guys, this is, again, this is the uh, Hunter American Stock by Magpul. Uh, very nice stock, very uh, accessory friendly uh, if you're looking for something like that or to improve your accuracy with the solid mounting system to the rifle receiver itself. Uh, very nice stock. Again, we'll do some uh, accuracy testing out there a little later on once the weather breaks up and clears up and I can get out there and buy some good ammunition to kind of just show what this gun does. We'll throw this old stock back on it and uh, just kind of show a before and after uh, uh, groupings out there at, I don't know, 100 yards, maybe 150, possibly 180. Depends on what I can see that day. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, be sure to check in the links in the description box below, down below if you want to... Uh, if you want to get a good look at this stock through Optics Planet, I have a link below as well as a discount code if you're looking to purchase this one. Again, highly recommended. Um, this, the Hunter stock by Magpul is just a great stock in general. And uh, anybody that's got their hands on one, 
uh, really does um, appreciate the stock and its ergonomics. Anyway, you guys, that's all I got for you right now. I'll catch you on the next video.